Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So we have the Six of Cups. Ooh, we have Justice, we have the Five of Wands, so we've got Libra there. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, for some of you, there are definitely children involved in this situation on your person's side. Obviously not for everybody. We have the Two of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Whoa. Page of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and we have the High Priestess. Okay, so what I will say with the High Priestess, I feel like Spirit is telling me what's coming through today is definitely open to change and there will be also things that that happen over the next year that, that are not going to come through in this reading um so mysteries and secrets will be revealed um over the next year there's an interesting mixture here which makes sense because it's a collective reading and also for each of you the personal situation you're looking at as the karmic will be will be different ultimately though look we have the six of swords on the back this is moving on moving away moving to calmer water uh trying to get to a new destination so for some of you i'm just going to say it straight up it looks like between your person and the karmic whatever person energy the karmic is there will be some kind of a shift a change even a separation um with your person or the karmic going their own way which of course means the other person has to go their own way as well Okay, for some of you, I feel the um, there's some sort of childhood connection here. We've got the Six of Cups, we've got the Two of Cups. In both of them, these animals are head to head, you know, um, very close. It's a very sweet, innocent energy. So for some of you, the karmic energy is going to be almost maybe a sibling, a parental figure, um, a lifetime friend. Um, if that's not the situation, if the karmic is a romantic person, like a spouse, a long-term partner on your person's side, I almost feel what we're seeing here is an acknowledgement of, yeah, things started out nicely, things were sweet when they began, um, but now we need to, you know, justice, eight of pentacles reverse, something isn't working here anymore and we've got to address this. Um, with the six of cups, two of cups, it makes sense we've got this because we're talking about karmic energy, so we could be talking about soul contract, balancing out karma, past life karma coming into play, so I do think there is a reason for sure that this third party or karmic energy is in your person's life, whichever role they're playing. Um, so there has been something your person was needing to balance out and deal with there. Justice coming out in the upright does suggest that they will successfully balance this out and get to a place of neutral um, with this situation, with this energy, which gives them the opportunity to then say, OK, um, we've done what we needed to here let's move on and how that looks in the 3d often is uh we're no longer getting the same enjoyment out of the situation we don't seem to be on the same page one or both of us no longer wants to put effort into this because it's like we can just sense intuitively this is not where my time needs to be now this is not where i want to be giving um my time and attention now if this is a relationship in your person's life that's say familial it's less likely they're just going to cut this person out and move on but it might be that their um connection becomes a bit more distant they spend less time with each other maybe they need to have a talk about um how things have been and make changes moving forward um okay we have the five of wands and the page of cups um other people a page can be a child um i do yeah i do feel there are that there are other influences here who are somehow connected to or influenced by this connection that your person has with this karmic energy ten of cups reverse eight of cups and in this card he's walking back in towards um this situation so for some of you i will say it's possible that even with this conversation taking place um your person could feel that they're still tied to whatever this situation is because of some kind of an energy that's either younger than them um, or more vulnerable or they feel they need to protect. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to necessarily stay with someone, marry to someone or whatever it is, um, because they have someone who's dependent on them. But it, it could mean, for example, they are co-parenting. So they separate, they split up, but they will still have to, to deal with this other situation in some way. Um, of course, as I said, if it's their 
parent, sibling, cousin, uncle, whatever, it, you know, they, they'll still see each other at family functions probably, or maybe they'll still have a decent relationship and talk sometimes. Um, but I, I think a huge, hmm, I was going to say a huge full complete separation is unlikely, but actually I don't think so. If we think about the meaning of the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords, that is emotional detachment. And for me, the Six of Swords is quite a literal, I'm getting in a vehicle, I'm moving on. So for some of you, there will be a complete detachment and separation here. Um, I'm seeing a conversation, I'm seeing change, I'm seeing having to consider other people, other influences, specifically... Um, responsibility to someone who is younger or it, they could be older even um i'm thinking of like someone who has to take care of maybe their parents um you know if their parents are um very elderly or they've become sick in some way you know something like that but someone who is reliant upon your person um okay let's see what else Eight of Swords. Okay, what else, please? What might take place over the next year? 365 days. Nine of Wands reversed. I really, really do see things getting to a point where your person has to sit down and say to this energy, this person, um, this cannot go on. You know, yes, it started well, but it's definitely not going well now. So what are we going to do about this? I'm tired. I'm sure you're tired. We have to make a change. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have a few, but I'll just take that so we can see it. If this energy is um, a way of thinking, you know, you're, you've noticed your person has some maybe cyclical thoughts that really drag them down. Um, you know, self-doubt, self-deprecation, all of that sort of stuff. It could be them sitting down with themselves and saying, I cannot go on like this because part of me is this optimistic page of cups. I'm longing for, you know, this connection, two of cups, six of cups. But then the other part of me is the eight of cups. I keep pulling away. I keep self-isolating. I need to get some balance here with justice. I need to figure this out. Okay. Seven of cups. And look how in the six of pentacles we've got the scales here. And that's landed right on top of justice. Um, okay, this, again, whatever the situation is, whether the karmic's romantic or otherwise, internal or external, um, it looks to me like a struggle is finally being addressed and, and acknowledged. Um, it feels like the discussion, the conversation that happens is, okay, we're not happy, or I'm not happy doing this anymore, um, but I cannot just separate immediately from this situation. We've got to sort something out practically with the Six of Pentacles. Um, something around responsibilities sharing finances if it's your person addressing their own inner thoughts it's like okay i've got to have a practical approach a practical plan here um that like they need to be their own cheerleader it's not something that's going to happen overnight with the knight of cups reverse it's a feeling of i wish we could just separate instantly and for it to be done and walk away and pursue our happiness i'm kind of feeling unhappy and unsatisfied that i'm having to you know stay and sort of try and figure this out um and take this practical approach now we finally got this out into the open i just want to walk away the seven of cups feels like a bit of confusion you know um we have options here how are we going to do this what's the new normal going to look like for some of you i do get the feeling it's if there's been a situation where your person has been say living with someone or people and they're saying we can't do this anymore i'm moving out okay so they move out but then they have to keep visiting for some reason or every so often you know they have to go back to do something take care of something or someone or <clears throat> i don't know there's some kind of tie and it's almost like that's fine you know but i wish i didn't have to still see you <laughs> not in that harsh way but it's like if you go through a breakup you kind of just want to to go but there is something some practical reason that they cannot just leave and like i said it could be maybe they work with this person so they see them every day still or um it's uh, a relative you know um but i definitely see a conversation taking place and some kind of transition in a practical 3d realm okay let me have a look at this knight of cups seven of cups Yes, Ace of Pentacles. I just want to go off and start my new beginning. Now I can have this new beginning in the practical realm. I don't want to 
still be tied to you, you being the karmic energy in the way that I am. We have the moon here. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like off into the unknown, but I don't know what this future looks like. Um, on the one hand, I'm excited for the potential. On the other, I'm kind of frustrated that this ending is going on for so long and that we're, you know, still attached. Um, we have the Magician and the Hierophant reversed. Exactly. Yeah. Some sort of contract is ending or changing. Before I forget, we've got Gemini, Taurus, uh, Pisces twice here. We have Libra. Okay, so regarding the karmic situation, I do see a tangible change that manifests in a physical 3D sense. Um, I think the ending here won't be an instant cutoff done. It will be, we have this conversation, okay, we, we, we've decided now what change we're making, um, but then putting that new plan into action might take a minute, you know, to figure out the routine. I think as well as this, Spirit's saying this, there's there's a lot of mystery, well not mystery, there's a lot more to be revealed along the way, which makes sense because we're looking at a really long period of time, so there are going to be other things that come up, um, the smaller things, the bigger things, you know, as the year unfolds. Um, is there anything else though that we can have for this High Priestess? No, Eight of Swords, <laughs> no, no, you, you know, it's almost like wait and see. Um, so fine, extra mystery there. Um, so, you know, I can't say when within the year this will take place. Um, I will say though, this tail end of figuring out the new normal, figuring out the new routine feels like it's gonna take the longest period of time, maybe several months. So um, don't feel that, you know, oh gosh, I have to wait, you know, I was gonna say 600. <laughs> 360 days for this to happen it could happen in three days you know it could happen in three months i don't know but it's definitely a process i'm seeing here um what's very striking to me is how we go from the six of cups and the two of cups um which we know is really lovely energy straight into we need to have this very blunt and direct conversation it tells me that your person and this karmic person or energy um, have been faking it for a long time because you don't just go from the six of cups, two of cups into we need to talk about this struggle. It's almost like it started great, <coughs> excuse me, even if it was only great for one week, you know, and let's say this situation has been going on for months or years, for the rest of that time we've been pretending it stayed as it began but we've had all of this drama in between, you know, the nine of wands reverse, lots of struggle. No one's been acknowledging it. We've not spoken about it with one another, even. Um, we've just we've just been keeping up this um, act. And now we're going to sit down and actually talk about everything that's transpired between the meeting or the birth point of this and now. Um, so it feels like over the next year, within sometime within the next year, there's going to be a big, honest conversation that's been growing for a long time. <clears throat> Okay, but look, a, a serious contract being broken here with the Hierophant reversed. Let's have a look with the chakra cards. <clears throat> Do you see how, though, we um, we have the Hierophant reversed? So we know there's some kind of a big change to something that's been well established or traditional or pretty long lasting, but we don't have death or the tower. And that's what I mean. It, there is going to be a change, some kind of an ending, but it's not a clean cut. There's some kind of a lag time or a reason that your person has to maintain some degree of a connection with the karmic um, energy and the situation. Even it's, if it's they've been struggling with their own thoughts here. Um, it could be something like, you know, with addiction, um, you you fight the addiction, you move forward, but maybe the temptation sort of lingers or something like that. I know people who, um, if they are a smoker and stop smoking, they can sort of be afraid to declare themselves as a non-smoker because inside they kind of feel like, you know, maybe they have imposter syndrome or they feel like the temptation is always there. Um, so that's just an example, but yeah, it's, it's there's something, some sort of a tie, but the tie, the connection changes. 
Okay, so the situation, please, between my viewer's person and the karmic energy. I just saw the impasse card, which is exactly it. You know, we can't do this anymore. We've got to address the elephant in the room. This isn't going anywhere. It was the Eight of Pentacles reversed, wasn't it, with the Justice card. So how do you go from, wow, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, let's be in our own secret bubble, I want to see you and talk to you every day, to I cannot even be bothered to put any effort in. You don't. You know, there's been stuff going on behind the scenes. Instinct, okay. That's connected to the crown. I do feel one or both of these people here, so your person um, and the karmic person, or just your person, you know, they are being guided. Um, it's like their guides, their ancestors, their higher selves are nudging them and saying, this connection came into your life for a reason. This situation unfolded as it did for a reason, but it's time for a change or it's time for a release here. It served its purpose. You've done what you needed to exactly expansion it's time to move forward it's time to move on and then look so we've got the knowing and then we've got the conversation with the blue the throat chakra and then we have forgiveness wow this has been a difficult situation for your person is what i'm seeing whatever this relationship or experience is very difficult um we've got the rhino and the kid and then we've got the poachers um how do you forgive how do you forgive the poachers you know i mean it would take a lot so i think you know your person and this other person involved if there is another person it's like it's going to take a lot for me to get over what's happened here to forgive things that i've done that you've done but it's time to forgive and to release um this is this is purple the third eye once you realize this there's no going back there's no unknowing that it's time to move on it's time to let go of this situation um it, there could have been betrayal that's taken place here um definitely you know there there's a child involved or children or a childlike energy um <clears throat> and you know this has come out on top of the ending the final cards where i was saying it, there's a reason there's something that's drawing this person back to this situation and if you think in this situation there are they're not after the child are they so it's almost like this animal is putting itself not intentionally it's, it's sleeping but you know metaphorically putting itself in the line of fire here to protect protect the child so yes there's a reason your person is saying it would make me happier to turn away from this and never think about it again but there is someone I love and care for that I have to protect or um, you know I have to sacrifice a bit of myself for this other personal energy um, I'd rather they they shoot me than the child you know that sort of thing whether it's a child or whoever or whatever um, it could even be a part of themselves you know the, the the inner child the child within me wants me to just leave and run off into the sunset but I know I have to stay in this company for example um, because in a year I can leave, but until then, you know, I need to um, earn my reputation or whatever it is, you know, I'm doing this for future me and I'm gonna have to just protect this inner child for now that wants to run away. Or um, I don't want to see this, this particular relative anymore, but then I'll end up detached or disconnected from the people in my family I do want to see. It. So it could be that. But um, yeah, it's almost like a, a, a knowing, Something's got to change. We've admitted this. We've spoken about this. So now there is no going back. Okay, so let me put these cards back in. And I'm not going to put these away, but I've made a mess of them. So I will put them to one side. And then I'm going to just pause and have a drink, catch my breath. And then we'll go into the next 365 days between you and your person. Okay, so let's have a look at the next 365 days between you and your person. So, Spirit, what can you show us, please? The next 365 days between my viewer and their person. I always said between Pisces, so I wonder if there's a high percentage of people with Pisces in their chart watching. Okay, so in the next 365 days between my viewer and their person, let's see, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. So closing out a cycle that's been heavy, burdensome, repetitive. We have the King of Cups. Page of Wands reversed. 
Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So someone's definitely working on their financial position and money. There could be other things as well. We have the Two of Cups reversed. Interesting, very interesting, how this is, I believe, in exactly the same position that we just had it for the karmic energy, but it's now reversed with the message that an old cycle is closing. So I do think some of you will definitely hear within the coming year. And I know I'm gonna get comments, even though I've said it so many times, of people being like, I'm not waiting a year. I'm not saying it will take the whole year. It could happen tomorrow, you know? It's just gonna be within, from one day to 365 days, you will hear of um, an ending between your person and whoever this, this karmic person is. Um, and if it's not something they can just end, you know, you'll, yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles in the world, you'll find out or see or hear that the dynamic has changed, the relationship has changed. And in terms of timing, both of these talk about a year. This will happen within a year. Okay. And we have the four of wands. No, we don't. We have the four of swords reversed. Interesting I said wands because what I was feeling when I was saying someone's going to be working on their stability or finances, especially in this row, because now, you know, we've got the cards here. I'm seeing it's almost like we, we're layering, we're sort of mirroring the two situations on top of each other, which we are, you know, but the cards are reflecting that. Um, I'm seeing that it looks like let's say the karmic is someone your person is living with or someone where uh, it affects their finances like a, a job situation or something we know from the previous spread especially we were seeing the cards over here where there was an ending a transition it wasn't immediate though um which you know and we can see now that this person i feel this is your person is working on regaining rebuilding stability so if what we just saw about the ending was, is them moving out, finding a new home, that's what they're doing. If it's a change in job, you know, they could be working at finding a new job or getting their savings back up or something like that. Um, okay, so I feel you will hear of a, a transition of an ending. I think it will be, a, you know, something really uh, pleasurable and nice for you to hear because with the Ten of Wands, you know, we're done with that and that's going so that's always a nice thing king of cups ace of pentacles i feel this is an offer coming to you do you remember we just had the ace of pentacles as well and it was the feeling of your person saying i just want to take this new beginning and go i wish that i didn't still have to interact with this past situation in any way but i do the ace of pentacles we can see now that they're bringing that to you because this is you and your person within the next year um let me have a bit more of a look and also what I will say is, look, page of wands reverse the world. This is because they're at the tail end of that other situation. It's lingering about. The king of cups and the ace of pentacles, please. Okay, knight of pentacles. Whoa, knight of pentacles reversed. Two of swords reversed. King of pentacles. Gosh, there's been a change in this person's attitude as well um, and their energy and their self-confidence. They're offering you this and they don't intend to retract the offer. They don't intend to give up, even if it's something that has to be worked towards. Knight of Pentacles reversed is stubbornness. Nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. Nobody's going anywhere, which is a good thing in this case. We've got the King of Cups, very stable with his emotions, very much in love. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, a very stable, tangible offer. It's like planting that seed. This person saying, I am offering this to you. I'm going to plant the seed in the ground with you. And I'm not going to speak for you, but for myself, I'm here. I'm determined to get this, this to grow into an oak tree. You know, two of swords is reversed. Whatever comes up, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to address it. I'm not going to run from the truth anymore. I'm not going to run from any difficulties that come up because I want this to grow. You know, ace of pentacles to the king of pentacles. So this person isn't presuming anything about you or if you even want this or anything like that. But they are saying... For their part, they intend to be here for the long term, committed. We know the King of Pentacles is thinking about um, legacy, building wealth of all kinds, not just for themselves, but for future generations, for the community of people around them, for them, for their partner, you know, for the Queen of Pentacles as well. They're a team and they get on with stuff and they build for, the, for now and for the future. So that's this person's intention here in offering this to you. Okay, so let's have a look. Page of Wands reversed. I feel it's reversed because they've got to figure out the new routine, as I said, with this past situation. They've got to get really comfortable with that. 
Page of Pentacles reverse. It's definitely there's def there's something about a childlike energy, whether it's as I said, younger or older, but someone who's dependent in some way now, or whether it's a project they've started with someone and it's got to, you know, they've got to figure out a new way of working on it together. As I said, if it's their new way of thinking, you know, they could still be tempted into low vibrational thoughts or self-doubt, and they're like, no, come on, keep going, keep being um, more hopeful or optimistic. Look, the Wheel of Fortune, but they are moving forward for sure. Okay, hold on, we have Sagittarius, uh, I'm seeing Taurus, we have Aquarius falling out, so we've got the star reversed. You see, this is it. Um, they are moving forward. The, the change will stick. It will become the new normal, but there are some doubts um, initially. Also, the star, you know, it's it's the hope, it's the wish fulfillment. It's sort of like, how do I move forward? How do I, how do I make this happen? Um, I'm going to have to figure it out as I go. I don't know yet, but I, like I said, I'm going to look at the truth. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to hide from it anymore. Um, even if I have doubts. In the past, if I had doubts, I may have you know, ghosted, I may have gone within, I may have pushed you away, I'm not doing that this time, I will continue to move forward, I'm being stubborn about it. <clears throat> okay, Queen of Wands. I'm glad to see though, the Eight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords reversed, it's like they're getting up, getting off their bums and doing something. Wow, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, coming in quick, coming in fast. Lots of passion for you, lots of intention around action. This person's working so hard because they um, they don't feel that they're on your level quite yet. They feel like they're a knight and you're a queen. Um, this is someone who feels that you are unstoppable, you don't need anyone. <clears throat> this, could be also, this could also be someone who feels that you're hard to pin down, like you're always on the move, or they might wonder where you stand in terms of commitment or what a commitment would look like to you, or maybe they just feel like, Mm, like you're hard to tie down in a way like to tame you or something not that you're like necessarily crazy wild I mean you might be but you've got this sort of larger than life energy and it's the energy you could it could be your personality as well but if it's not it's just the energy like you attract so much <laughs> attention in, as far as they're concerned and they almost feel like trying to get you in a commitment with them would be like trying to tame the sun and, and reduce it down to a single flame. Um, and you might be saying, that's ridiculous. I'd commit to this person in a second. Um, it's just their perception of you. It, it's almost like, how do you take someone that has so much energy and life force and get them to be happy with just you. I think that's what it is, yeah. It's almost like they feel like, can they be enough for you? They're not even showing up as a king of wands, it's a knight of wands. Um, and I'm noticing the king is looking over the queen, the queen is looking into the future. I think this person might be worried within the next year, not, not like nail-biting worried, but it will be on their mind. Can they ever be enough for you? Um, but it's not this kind of complacent, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not good enough. It's like, right, well, I'm going to try and be the best I can, that I can be, so that I have a good chance um, at being enough. But the way they're doing it, it's not like they're trying to be your king of wands. They're trying to be the king of pentacles. So this person, there could be some ways in which they're kind of different from you, and they're harnessing those strengths, and they're working on them. They're not trying to to present a fake version of themselves. They're just looking at what they are good at and trying to do more of that. Um, because regardless of, you know, pentacles or wands, earth or fire, we do have a king and a queen. Um, so maybe they're like, okay, well, you're incredibly expansive and full of life, um, or you're just someone who you want to, it's almost like you want to devour life's experiences. You know, you're not hiding from anything. You're not running from anything. You, you're looking at life in the face. Um, they don't feel exactly like that sort of a person. Um, more than they used to, for sure. But it's like, right, well, you, you have that energy. You bring that fire to our relationship. And I will bring this King of Pentacles energy. I will bring the um, consistency and the seriousness and the, the grounded 
side of things. Um, they think you can do that as well because we know the Queen of Wands is a, is a fantastic manifester, so she does know how to manifest in the physical. And she's a queen, you know, you, you have to know how to handle your business if you're a queen. <laughs> um, so they know you can do that, but it's just like they're saying, well, I, I can also do that. And I know that's something I'm good at, so I'm just going to be extra good at it. Um, okay. So within the next year, an offer. But just know the karmic energy is still lingering. For some of you, it's almost like it's going to linger for a bit. Like, let's say it's a separation or divorce. There will come a point where everything's resolved and then they can cut contact with that person theoretically. So it won't linger forever. For others of you, it will be around forever because it will be a relative or, you know, it will, the situation will involve children. But it doesn't mean it's going to be around in a way that challenges or affects this connection between the both of you. Um, this pentacle, of course, will look different for everybody. Yet my temptation is still to see what else we can see about it. Oh, wow. For some of you, it's straight up a proposal to get married. We have the Hierophant, so we've got Taurus there. Do you see what I mean? And I did that whole spiel that was kind of messy, and I don't think I really explained what I was feeling here very well, about how they, they feel like trying to be in a commitment with you is like trying to constrain the sun. Um, because that's what they want. They want this commitment, but it's um, they want to be enough for you. They see you as someone, you know, you you perhaps get on very well with many different people from many different backgrounds, all ages, you know, blah, 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 all the rest of it. Literally, you can get on very well with anyone and everyone. And everyone loves being around you and talking to you. Everybody gets something out of an interaction with you. And it's like, how, how can I, one person, be enough then for you to come home to every evening, the same person? And it, again, they're not saying it's not about you ever having suggested or shown them that you want to have like 10 partners on the go at the same time or anything it's because they hold you in this high regard and feel like you're such a force you know like you have so much life force they feel like they've got to step their game up um mm. And how interested is this expansive Queen of Wands in something uber traditional that's already established when she's always like, what's next? How can we make this better? Where do we go from here? So that could be a concern that they have. Um, and yet concern feels too strong. It's definitely a focus. It's something they're thinking about. But it's not something they're going to let stop them. So... That's what I'm seeing for the both of you within the next year. Five of Wands on the back. Yeah, justice reversed. As I said, there will be the sort of lingering energy or, you know, the situation will be lingering a bit with whatever this ending is. Um, but I always think of the Five of Wands as a relatively petty, silly energy. It's like an annoyance. Um, because I always just think of these, these people hitting each other with sticks as being ridiculous and, you know, it's like you're approaching them and you're thinking, absolutely not, no thank you, and you just turn around and walk the other way. Um, I don't feel it's a huge disaster sort of energy. Okay, so let's have a look then and see what else, Spirit, what's happening in the next six... Why do I... Oh my god, six... Imagine, imagine if this was like what's happening in the next 600 <laughs> days. Why do I keep saying that? What's happening within the next 365 days? Wisdom. Oh, wow, and joy, amazing. Okay, so we've got the heart here. We have the solar plexus interesting because they came up as the king of cups initially did they think so yeah and they're seeing you as this queen of wands um so you know we have this fire and then we've got all the heart-based love energy here this is wow okay she's got so she, the, that we see the world we know the world in terms of timing is a year we even have the world here um 
This is, I feel like this person, when they extend this offer to you, they've already been on this journey of connecting more with their heart space, going through healing and acting from a heart centered space. And I was mentioning this, mentioning this in a reading recently um, about how they're, they're showing up as being more aware of other people, their needs, their feelings, being more empathetic, um, basically coming across as more thoughtful, more generous and kind. Um, and you'll notice that when they come forward. Meanwhile, they're seeing you being, you know, she's got her eyes closed, her hands are in the air, she's doing her thing, dancing. She's enjoying herself, you know, and she's by herself in this card. That's, that's the thing. This person loves to admire you, but so does everyone else as far as they're concerned. Um, so they want to make sure they are enough for you. Okay, what else, please? What else here? Gossip. Yeah, and that's that Five of Wands. In this card, though, um, I think they're neighbours, and they all think she's a bit eccentric and odd, but then they get together, I think, at her house for a party or something, and they realise that she creates amazing works of art, and they stop judging, and they all get along. So that's what I feel, you know, there's, there's forward movement, there's some irritating energy around at worst, you know, but it will even itself out. Can we have one more card, please? Abundance. Okay, there we go. Wow. On top of joy, the way I put it down there. Um, you know, we have the coins in the drain. We have two ways of thinking, which is, oh, I've lost my money down the drain. Or we have, if I can figure out a way to get these coins up, I can go and invest them somewhere. Um, so a change in perspective. And this situation really turning around from a feeling of lack to huge abundance and maybe even the surprise of wow this abundance and this positivity and this future was available to us all along but it took both of us seeing it um maybe you've seen it you know and you know you've done what you can that's why you're focusing on yourself over here looking into the future not at this person um and maybe you know your person here is going to be able to see it through this sort of heart chakra healing or awakening but either way, you know, we finish with the card of abundance, which is very, very nice. Okay, so I will leave this reading here. Um, as I said, you know, this is um, energy, obviously, it's very fluid. So don't um, give your power away to the reading, you know, just, just take the messages that resonate and make it work for you, basically. Um, what else? Oh yeah, also, you know, like I said, within 365 days, not on the 365th day. So don't, don't you know, feel that you've got to wait a whole year. Don't even, I mean, no one cares about my personal opinion, but, <laughs> but I'm going to give it anyway, which would be don't wait one day. Keep, you know, keep, um, if you want to leave the door open for this, great, but don't basically hold yourself back in any way, I would say, ever. Right, okay, so that's it then. Bye. <laughs> oh, no, but seriously, um, that is it. And I will be back with a Twin Flame reading tomorrow. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Bye.